Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and it is time to make crafting fun. DIY number one and as you saw in the title and the thumbnail, I'm working on my tear tray and I got inspired by this one from Grandin Road. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this bowl from Walmart or you can get one from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this paper clip binder I think that's the name <laughs> and this wood round and also this cauldron that I got from the thrift store but you can get one on Dollar Tree or Walmart I'm also using a dowel and you can use a plunger from Dollar Tree and my drill with a one inch spade bait bit <laughs> spade bit <laughs> and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make holes like this in the center of all of my pieces just like that because we need a center hole to make our beautiful tray the first thing as you can see i just made that hole in all of them and then after i have all of that i'm gonna remove that from my paper clip thingy <laughs> well i'm gonna remove the paper clip <laughs> and now i'm just trying that with my pliers just like that it wasn't that easy, but it is not as complicated as it looks. <laughs> but I'm just going to remove that. And then after I have that removed, wait, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> after I have that removed, we are going to paint them. <laughs> but first, let me show you how we're assembling this. The bowl goes first, then I'm going to place the wood round, and then I place the flour and the other cauldron the cauldron <laughs> now i'm gonna cut my dowel in a 45 degree angle and the length is to your liking let me just cut this and now we have it i sanded it and now i'm showing you that the plate goes in the bottom now i'm gonna take the cauldron the circle and the flower and i'm gonna paint it with flat black from harris paint all over and this is part of the Halloween tear tray collab and I'm joining Sonia from Domestic Diva Home and Domestic Diva DIY and all of these beautiful and talented ladies for a tear tray collab in the description box down below you're gonna find the link to the playlist and also to Sonia's channel so you can go and check it out so I'm taking my wood round and I'm using some packing tape because I couldn't find my masking tape but packing tape worked beautifully and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a crisscross pattern. As you can see, I'm using my tape to measure. And here we have it in plaster from Waverly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the squares that we have in between our packing tape. As you can see, I'm just pressing it down to make sure it is stuck to the wood circle. Now the most awesome part is removing it. And look at that. It looks beautiful. So it works. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to paint the squares in between our already painted squares. Just like this. So we can make a checkered pattern. I think that's the name for that one. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat that all around my wooden circle or my wood brown. And in the description box down below, you're going to find the link to my Amazon front store so you can go and check this ones out. Now, as I finished, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flower thingy and I'm going to use pumpkin from Waverly and I'm going to give it two coats of that to that flower. I painted it black just to make sure that we didn't have the issue with the flower thingy that it had. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go all around, let it dry, and then I will come back and give it a second coat so we have a beautiful orange thingy flower. <laughs> Now I'm taking the bowl and my wood round and I'm going to add lots of hot glue to that bowl over here all around just like that. And then I'm going to glue that plate or wood round to the top. Then I'm going to take this broom that I have, but you can use raffia from Dollar Tree. I just have this one from Walmart and I wanted to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it like that. Then I'm going to cut pieces of that broom. And it was a little bit hard, <laughs> so you can use raffia. But I'm just going to cut pieces of that, and then I'm going to add lots of hot glue to the side. Just let me show you. Lots of hot glue over there in between the wood round and the bowl. And I'm going to start applying that to that hot glue all around our bowl. 
just like this and if you need to come back and add more you just add more hot glue on top of that straw thingy <laughs> and you add more then when you apply that what you do is you just trim the excess on the bottom and after you have finished and covered all of that this is how it looks now i'm going to take that cauldron and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover that top for that i'm just using this green poster board that i had at home but you can find them at dollar tree and what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure my cauldron and then i'm going to cut a circle yes let's just make that circle with a pen like that and then we go around with our scissors and as i always say move your scissors not your paper it makes it easier to cut that way <laughs> and after we cut that we are going to apply lots of hot glue to the border or rim of our cauldron like that then we're going to cut a hole like this just make a baking and making a cross <laughs> and that's it now we're using our dowel to make sure that that hole fits and it's perfect and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this foam balls and i'm on those <laughs> and i'm gonna apply them to the cauldron but the bigger ones i'm gonna cut it in half just like this so we can have smaller bubbles because these are bubbles <laughs> and as you can see i'm applying those four over there and now i'm gonna start adding the smaller ones in between our four bigger ones we're gonna go around adding and adding and adding more foam balls all around until we have filled almost all of the top of our cauldron we're gonna continue doing that a little bit of hot glue keep going until you have filled almost everything then when we finish with that we're gonna paint it using this lime color from Waverly and we're gonna paint all of those bubbles all around and we're gonna also paint the bottom so it looks more like those bubbles because those are the bubbles from our cauldron <laughs> now i'm taking this vase filler from dollar tree and i'm just gluing a couple of them here and there and that's it now i'm gonna take some black paint and i'm gonna go around our bubbles in the borders so we can make sure that it this looks like part of our cauldron and not just a piece of poster board that we added there <laughs> so we're gonna just go around covering that part like that and then when we finish with that we're gonna let this dry completely so we can assemble our beautiful tray as you can see we're finishing if you like modern farmhouse bow decor and lots of silly jokes that's what i do here so subscribe and click on the bell so you can get notified every time i upload a new video also hit the thumbs up if you like this one and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel here's my social media go and check me out now for our flower thingy <laughs> we're gonna give it a good polka dot pattern in the border or a rim of polka dot <laughs> and i'm using a dowel to make them and as you can see i'm going petal by petal and then going in between those circles that's the best way to make a beautiful polka dot pattern <laughs> and we're gonna go around just like that until we have covered all of that border we don't have to go to the inside because we're gonna glue our cauldron over there as you can see i'm adding my dowel to the middle of my wood round that it has the bowl in the bottom like that just to let it dry and add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of that dowel also and now i'm taking that washer set as you can see and i'm cutting one of them and i'm gonna glue it here so we can hold the polka dot beautiful flower that we made <laughs> and i'm just gluing it there and now i'm gonna just bring down my polka dot thingy <laughs> and i'm gonna add hot glue around just like this so we can make sure that it is secured then I'm gonna take my cauldron after I glue it in the bottom and I'm gonna glue that cauldron in the top of that dowel. Here you can see it on the side just like that and now I'm gonna add lots of hot glue over here so we can glue our cauldron on top of that. And now I'm gonna bring that cauldron and as you can see, we just glued that down. And here you can see it. And this is how it turned out. You can stop here because it is looking beautiful. But I'm going to add a decal on that cauldron just to make it a little bit cuter. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on the decor for this beautiful tear tray. But let me know what you think about this one in the comments below because I think it looks a lot more beautiful than the Grandin Road one. But let me know what you think. Now for DIY number two and we're gonna take this thingy <laughs> and I'm gonna take that bottom bat and I'm gonna paint it with black paint just simple apple barrel black paint acrylic paint <laughs> and we're gonna let it dry now i'm gonna take these beads and i'm gonna use a ziploc bag and i'm gonna place them in the on the inside and add more of that black paint over there and just squish them around move them around really well so they get painted and this is the easiest way to paint beads i think <laughs> and after that i'm gonna bring a paper towel and i'm just gonna dump them over there grab a skewer get them in that skewer just like that to let them dry and we're gonna get all of them there and after we have all of them there what we're gonna do is we're gonna just roll them onto our paper towel so they look beautiful farm healthy <laughs> now i have this tassel with some of that fishing line and i'm gonna start my pattern and my pattern is one orange well one black one orange one black one orange all around until we have finished then i'm gonna take my bat and remove it from that sign and i'm gonna attach that bat to the bottom or the other side of my garland just by wrapping it around making a knot like that making another knot with that same fishing line just like that and then going in my beads like this to secure that fishing line after i get that out like this i'm gonna cut the excess and that's it and here you can see it and i'm loving it it looks so farmhousey cute but let me know in the comments below what you think about this one because you know me i'm biased <laughs> now for diy number three and we're gonna take one of that pieces of that thingy sign and it is the ghost and the other bat and we're gonna add some cubes from dollar tree to the back so it stands on its own and here you can see them together and they are looking so cute but let me know what you think about those in the comments below now for diy number four we're gonna take this pumpkin from walmart and some black paint from apple barrel and we're gonna paint it all around just like this we're gonna let it dry and this one too two coats because that orange wanted to show <laughs> so we're gonna let it dry and paint it again now i'm gonna take this decal that i found on google for free and i'm just gonna glue it or stick it to my sign and that will be it for this beautiful sign and here you can see it and it is looking beautiful so hocus pocus <laughs> hocus pocus <laughs> If you want to buy me some crafting supplies, you will find this link in the description box down below. You don't have to do that. You can support your favorite creator by watching, sharing, and liking their videos. But if you want to buy me crafting supplies, this link, you will find it in the description box down below. And you will get a shout out in my channel. And here you can see my tear trait. All decorated. And I'm loving this one. It looks so beautiful. But I want to know what you think about it in the comments below. And also, as you can see, I added those shabby chic hats that I made. And here is this decal that I made for my beautiful cauldron. You can use stickers to make this. But it is looking so cute. I like it more than the Grandin Road one. But let me know what you think. Because you know me, I'm biased. <laughs> and remember that this is part of the tear tray collab that sonia from domestic diva home and domestic diva diy is hosting and in the description box down below you're gonna find the link to the playlist and also to both of their cha her channels <laughs> so you can go and check her out and also check out what everyone else created for this awesome collaboration and remember that if you like it hit the thumbs up if you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching this, uh, this type of videos. <laughs> Take care, my beautiful friends. Bye-bye.